And naturally, occurring radioactive gas could be in your home, and you may not even know it. State health experts say radon is responsible for more than 500 lung cancer deaths in Colorado every year. Tonight, Kathy Wall showing us why you should have your home tested now. January makes sense because the test works best when all the doors and windows are closed. And if you think, I don't need to test, think again. Every home in every neighborhood in every state has the potential to harbor a silent killer, radon, a naturally occurring radioactive gas. It comes from the breakdown of uranium in soil and water and seeps into homes through cracks or other openings. It's not a problem at all out in the environment, but in homes like this one, it can get trapped. Long-term exposure to radon is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers, the second leading cause in smokers. According to the Colorado Department of Public Health, half of Colorado homes have high radon levels. This is a health risk you can do something about. Starting with a test, Kelly McGregor with State Health showed us a simple kit Colorado offers for free. You fill out one side with your information and when and where you're testing. You want to be testing in the lowest lived in area of your home. Prop the kit open, then hang it for the number of days specified. Seal it up and mail it in. If the results show high levels, you don't need to flee your home or anything like that. But the EPA recommends installing a mitigation system, a vent pipe system with a fan to pull the gas out. It costs on average $1,200 to get rid of radon. To send for a free test kit, go to coloradoradon.info, or you can buy a kit at any hardware store or online. In Denver, I'm Kathy Walsh, covering Colorado First.